Straits of Taiwan, the future of one of the world's largest reefs of algae is hanging in the balance. On the 18th of December, the people of Taiwan will vote in a referendum that will determine what happens to this fragile ecosystem which supports so much biodiversity in the region. Here's a report. Can development take place at the cost of environment? This is the question that people in Taiwan will have to answer on the 18th of this month. The red coral reef along Taiwan's northern shores faces an existential threat. The government wants to build a liquid natural gas terminal in the middle of this fragile ecosystem that activists insist would spell the end of red algal corals. Pan Chongcheng has spent a good part of the last decade trying to protect this biodiversity hotspot. Even when this many people want to preserve it, it is unbelievable that they won't be able to. This country seemingly only cares about economic development and money. Their values and interests don't apply to ecosystems or nature. I think this country is very dangerous because this is truly an unsustainable direction. No matter how much money you make, in the end it will all disappear. But nature will be forever lost once you have destroyed it, because in case this reef here is destroyed, it will be impossible to restore. Advocates of the liquid natural gas terminal have said that it could help resolve Taiwan's persistent power woes. Tsai Ing-wen's government has also pledged to decrease the development area by 90% and push the receiving station farther offshore. Government officials insist that the fears of environmental damage have been grossly exaggerated. Our three terminals, especially the one in the town, are key for decreasing air pollution in the central southern Taiwan. Everyone uses electricity, so we have to generate it. But we can find less polluting ways to generate power. Right now, there are many coal plants in central and southern Taiwan. If we increase power generation through natural gas in the north, our carbon emissions can be cut by half. Air pollution can be decreased to one third to protect the algal reef and decreasing air pollution in central and southern Taiwan should be of equal value. At the moment, coal provides 45% of Taiwan's electricity while liquid natural gas contributes just 36 percent. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has set an ambitious target. By 2025, she wants the share of liquid natural gas in electricity production to jump up to more than 50 percent. And for this to happen, the LNG terminal in northern Taiwan needs to get functional soon. So the choice for the Taiwanese people in the referendum is clear. Cleaner electricity or a thriving red algal coral. Bureau Report, we on, World is One.